Good morning and welcome in. I am the Canadian trucker Rudy and I am here with Diego. I'm Trucker's Rudy's son. Well, thank you guys for joining my channel and stay tuned for the rest of my day. Good morning, good morning guys. We are still in Mississauga, Ontario and I'm here with my uh, uh, with my partner, YouTuber and he's gonna help me create this video right now. So let's get to it. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the moose pumper off and I'm gonna show you guys how we do it. So we got the pin right here. Now we take the pin and put it in there. We have to unscrew it, eh? Yeah. So we'll be uh, doing a little bit of uh, inspection on the truck. Check the oil and look at everything a little bit. See if everything looks good. Yeah. There we go, I already opened the hood on the inside. There we go. Well, the Volvo has cylinders in there. It prevents the hood from uh, falling all the way down to the, to the bottom. We got the oil dipstick, dipstick up here. Let me check the oil. Yeah, a little bit. Oh, we're still in good shape. Oil looks still very good. Looks not black at all. Let's get another dip in there. Let's see. Yeah, we're still still good. Anyways, we'll check everything over a little bit and then we'll get our way over to uh, pick up our real trailer. Well guys, here we go. We are leaving the Fly and J right now. Here in Mississauga, Ontario. We'll make our way down to uh, Toronto area. And then we'll go uh, pick up our, our reload. Yeah. Hopefully that load is going to be there. I remember last time when I uh, had the same thing. I told this batch I was going to go there in the morning. I get there in the morning and they're saying that load got cancelled. So hopefully that's not going to be the case this time. Hopefully we're going to be in good shape. And Turn right on. Dixie Road, R4. Yeah, we'll go this way. Yeah. I don't know what this truck is doing up here. Oh, I guess he just had to go over there and grab himself a coffee. Well, why couldn't he do that at <laughs> over there at Flying J? You know, pull in there and grab a coffee. Cup of coffee. Sometimes, I guess, here in Canada, they just stop wherever they want. Oh, well. Anyways, we'll go over there and pick up our load, hopefully. The entrance to the right on then we'll be making our way to Edmonton. Well, guys, we picked up our reload here in Toronto. Now we're going to try and attempt to get out of Toronto. Yeah! Luckily, from here, it's not that far to, uh, to the 400. And that's where we got to go. And then we'll be... Uh, We'll be on our way. Yeah. Oh yeah. And we'll be on our way to Edmonton. 
Well, we are already officially on our way to Edmonton. Yeah, it's still a little bit of a rush, though. Come on, RJ, be quiet. It's my turn. Come on, now. <laughs> yeah, well. That's what we have to deal with truckers, truckers, you know? Traffic, traffic, traffic. Well, I guess the rest of the people up here in Toronto have to deal with it too, but us as truckers, we have to deal with it a lot more than a lot of you guys probably have to. Some of you live in rural areas, and you never have to deal with heavy traffic. <laughs> Anyways, let's try and get out of here and then see how far we can make her. Well guys, we just stopped here near and center Ontario. And me and the son, we are going to go have ourselves some lunch. Yep. Yeah, so the last few days that we're going to get to enjoy each other's company. And we'll go have some nice uh, lunch over here at the store here. They got a nice place up here, so we'll go see what kind of goodies they got in there. Yep. Well, this is something really cool that we found up here, eh? What is it? Tell the viewers. Back scratcher. Back scratcher, eh? Look at that. Remember the, remember the time you want to scratch your back? Well, this is it. Pull on it. Not too much. Look at that. Here we go. Look at me scratching my back. Every time you want to scratch your back? Well, here we go. Only $5.99. That's it. All right, we're done with back scratching. So we're gonna go have some tea. Well guys, look at the cool artifacts that they got down here. Made of out of bottles. Look at this guy right here. He's gonna take himself a drink. Don't you think so? <laughs> That's pretty funny. Look at all the cool artifacts they have down here, eh? Yeah. Like uh, Indians, they build all kinds of stuff here in Canada. To put in the store, you know? It's pretty cool, eh? Yeah. yeah, you got these hats up here. Yeah. Anyways, I'm getting hungry. How about you? Yep. Well, guys, have you guys ever seen a beaver skiing? Well, here it is. Voila. You got it. Some very cool, cool items they got in here. Alrighty. My son wants to get himself a bubble gum. Let me just show you the bubble gum machine here first. It goes way down there and it comes up here. Oh yeah, and it's got a ding a ding down there and that's where it comes out. So let's get her started. One dollar. Oh, there it goes. Yeah, there it is. There it comes on. Oh, look at that. It's even got a song in there. Eh? Scrolls down like that. Oh, there it goes. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Uh-oh. There we go. There we go. Uh-oh. Here we go. There we have it. We got ourselves a bubble machine gum. And this is what a dollar looks like up here in Canada. For you guys in the United States that have never seen a Canadian dollar, that's what it is. Let me get a shot. Should I take it? Yeah, that's... He wants to hold the camera, so let's let him do it. There we go. Let's get this it took it all the way around. There we go. Yeah, there it comes. Is that something, eh? Yeah. Yeah, look at that, eh? Squirrels quite a few times in there, eh? Voila! There you have it. We got ourselves some bubble gum. Well, let's get back on the road. Well, guys, we've been on the road for a couple of hours. Yep. And we already passed South St. Marie already. And we're just going by the lakes here right now. Up and down, up and down. Pretty much all we're doing right now. Yeah. 
you had 108 kilometers to go up to Wawa and that's where we're gonna call it a day yep I'll probably stop right about now if I had a truck stop up here but there ain't no truck stop up here till the next 100 kilometers or 108 kilometers so so then we're just gonna continue rolling well, lucky the sun is still up there and we've uh, had uh, lots of sunshine today we had for a little bit there we had uh, had rain and then after that it cleared off passed through that little rain shower and now we got nice sunshine yeah well we had lots of fun there at the little store that we were earlier at yeah. lots of goodies up there lots of cool stuff so we had a lot so a lot of fun up there and yeah I'm not in any rush anyways to get to Edmonton this load don't deliver till Sunday night today is only Thursday so I got four days to get there and about 3450 kilometers to drive so that's usually doable in about three and a half days well, you can, even here in Canada, you can actually do it in three days if, if you're really pushing. But uh, I don't really push that much. and Plus, I am starting to get low on hours, so I got to be uh, careful with my hours now. So I only had 21 and a quarter hours this morning, so... I'm not going to push it very much because I got to wait till Saturday till I get the roll hour, roll over hours back. So, so then we'll just wait till Friday, at Saturday, I mean, and then we'll get hours back and we'll be in good shape. But as you can probably tell on my front camera, we are starting to slow down. That is because this is a very long in uh, in. Uh, uh, incline yeah doesn't look that bad but it actually is it's, it's pretty bad it's a long way you gotta go over these big hills yeah. and as you can see we still have lots of snow up here mind you they did get lots of snow up here compared to what we got in Steinbox but no we just got to continue up this hill and Yeah, signs are almost covered in snow, yeah? That's right. And we're even higher. Yep. Snow was even higher here in winter. It's melted quite a bit already, so... Well, at least we have dry roads pretty much. A little bit of wet spots here and there from the snow melting, but other than that, we're good to go. Yeah, isn't that gorgeous? Coming around like a big hill like this. Then I'll be even more gorgeous in summer. Anyways, we'll keep on, keep on. Well, it's good evening for us. We have stopped in Wawa, Ontario. Yeah, so we are pretty much done for the uh, day. But we got one thing left, and that is dinner. Yeah. Let's take a look. Ooh, that looks yummy. Well, guys, this gentleman right here, he cooked this dinner today. Yep. Yes. Last uh, couple of days ago when we were uh, cooking the stew, he was making notes. And today he cooked it. Yes, he. I think he did a very good job, eh? I'm very proud of him. Yes. Thank you, son. You're for welcome. cooking us some nice dinner so let's get to it we'll have uh, we'll have ourselves some dinner and I'll be the judge I'll see if it's really good so I'll let you know in a bit well guys I said I would be the judge today let's have a look whoa what happened to all that food man man that must have been some good food definitely so we're finishing it off with some peaches as a dessert 
Yeah, he's got some too. Yeah. So I think he had something he wanted to say. So let's turn the camera his way to our professional cooker. So what do you got to say, brother? Uh, well, I want to give a shout out to Checker Jukebox. My dad really appreciates your company. And um, I want to give a shout out to Marco. Um, I know uh, you're always watching uh, my dad's videos. And I want to give a shout out also to Mirko. I know he's always making sure that all his friends are um, uh, watching the videos with him. And uh, we thank you for that. That's all I got. Whoa, did you guys hear that? Man, he's becoming a professional YouTuber. I better hurry up and get my spiel, otherwise he's going to surpass me. Yeah. Man, I, I, I think he's starting to get better than me. Well, we had ourselves some fine dinner, I can't tell you that much. So uh, we're going to get to dessert now. And we will see you again tomorrow at 5 a.m. Thank you very much for watching.